Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today is one of these, I'm gonna try one of these new Boston Market homestyle meals. This one is the hot honey fried chicken. Um, it looks like uh, almost like buffalo wings almost, and you get macaroni and cheese with it too. So it's fried all white meat chicken glazed in a honey hot pepper sauce with pepper jack mac and cheese. It sounds really good, it sounds spicy. We bought this at Kroger, it was $3.29. I'm sure they sell them other places, that just happens to be where we saw them at. Um, I'll turn you up so you can see this, the calories. We're really straight up now. Um, it is 540 calories to eat the whole meal, and there's your other info for you. And to cook these, the directions are on the side. You can do a conventional oven, there's the directions for those. Of course, we don't do ovens, we do microwaves, but there they are if you need it. So for the microwave, turn your nail a little bit. So we're going to uh, remove the tray from the carton, cut the film to vent, cook on high for four minutes, stir chicken and pasta separately, so don't mix it all together. Uh, cook again on high for two to two and a half minutes and let it sit for a minute or two. I'll probably just do two minutes on the second go around. So four minutes, stir it, and then two. So let's see, no pull tab. Super glue on the box, that's for sure. Oh, so you stir it separately. Well, you'd have to because there's a divider in the middle. So, did it say which end to split it? Uh, no, I just said cut it to vent. So anyway, there's the chicken, there's the macaroni and cheese. So I'm going to put a slit in this to vent it, and I'll be right back when it comes out. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. And I have to tell you, I've never had an issue with these plastic trays making a mess. But this particular one did. So, you know, it said to vent the plastic wrap. So I did that. I poked a hole in it, a little slit in it with my fork and, you know, made a little slit. And um, I put it like right there. And the cheese sauce is so like watery. And there's a lot less of it now because some of it ran out. But um, it was very watery. So it ended up bubbling up out of the slot I made um, and sitting on top. It's like, okay, so I raked it back in, stirred it up really good, and put it back in there for the two minutes. Well, the side that I opened up to to stir it up, you can see it on the edge. It um, it bubbled over all in the microwave. So normally I don't put these on a paper plate, but this particular one, you might want to stick on a paper plate just to make sure it doesn't go everywhere. So I'm going to let this cool off because it's really hot and I'll be back. All right, so I'm going to try a piece of chicken first. I'm just kind of blowing it up to get it cool off on the outside. The inside is probably going to be still really hot because it did cook for six minutes. So here we go. Not too bad. I think I would try the chicken since that's technically the the star of the meal, the hot honey fried chicken. It's not bad, it is sweet. Um, it does have a sweet flavor. It has a little bit of a peppery flavor, not like a really strong, but like peppers, not like salt and pepper, but peppers. It has a little bit, a teeny tiny little bit of pepper flavor, but peppers flavor. But I don't get any hot. So when they say it's hot honey chicken, I don't get any like heat. There's no burning your tongue, burn your mouth, you know, burn your lips. And it, there's none of that stuff. So it honestly reminds me more of a sweet and sour sauce, kind of a, a, a sweet, like a really sweet sauce, like a sweet and sour sauce. I was gonna say like a teriyaki, but that's more um, soy sesame kind of flavor. It's not that kind of flavor. It's more of a sweet and sour sauce. They literally could have called that sweet and sour chicken and I wouldn't have even questioned it. I would have went on. <laughs> so I did not get any spices from that. It does say honey hot pepper sauce. I'm not getting any heat. I mean like none. Um, if you're really sensitive to some peppers, you might get some, but like when me and Tammy try something sometimes on the channel or her channel, um, I'll eat something that just absolutely burns me up and she'll eat something that doesn't nothing at all or, or vice versa. I'll eat something that doesn't bother me at all and she'll eat it and it, and it, um, even it bothers, yeah, it doesn't bother me at all and it's burning her up. This might be the case in this one. Um, maybe it's just not a pepper that bothers me a lot. So I'm not getting any real heat. Um, so you eat, may eat it and it may be hot. So you have to tell me in the comments if you ever tried this meal, was it hot for you? Um, because I'm not getting anything. Let me try out the mac and cheese the the messy culprit that made a mess in my microwave I had to clean up. Um, yeah, it was just because the sauce was watery. You can see the steam still coming over here too.
Hmm. Now that tastes like pepper jack cheese. So if you ever had pepper jack cheese, it has that um, kind of like that green and red pepper kind of flavor. That's the flavor it has. Like I said, if you ever had pepper jack cheese, you know that flavor. This is it. I like the mac and cheese quite a bit. I wish it had more actual peppers in it. Like the picture on the front, let me just show you. The picture of those, look how many peppers are in there. They got all kinds of red red peppers in there that you can see, like look at all those. Um, there's none of that actually in the meal. Or if there is, there's very, very, very few. I see a couple little, I see a couple little red dots. Like, like there's a red dot on that one right there. But um, yeah, I wish it had a little bit more of that. Uh, peppers, literally peppers in here. So it would bump that flavor up a little bit more, but I do, I really like the macaroni and cheese. Yeah, the mac and cheese is probably my favorite part. The chicken's not bad. It's just, I really was looking for a little bit of spice. I mean, I don't, I don't like super hot food anyway. So I wasn't looking for, you know, super, super hot burn your mouth um, heat, but I was expecting some heat and I don't get it. Don't get it at all. It tastes like a sweet glazed chicken nugget. Now, if you put this in the oven, I don't know that you would it would change the texture any at all, but I, so I can only speak for the microwave. The microwave, the breading on the chicken is mushy. It's kind of wet and mushy. Um, I don't like I said. I don't know that the oven would change that because it's still um, already covered in a sauce that soaked into that breading. So it, unless it crisped up everything, I can't imagine it changing that. But it might. I don't know. I can't speak to it. But for microwaving, just know that the texture of the outside breading is a little wet and mushy. Um, Flavor-wise, it's just lacking flavor, so, um, or lacking spice. It's not lacking flavor, it's just lacking spice. Um, overall, the meal is probably more of a, since it didn't have any heat, eh, um, I'm gonna go like a three and a half. Uh, the whole meal is in, in itself. I, Boston Market, usually I really score high. This one's just okay. The chicken falls flat, the macaroni and cheese brings it up. So I, I think a three and a half is a good average. If I were to just break each individual side, I would give that chicken probably just a plain three. It's just sweet and sour chicken is all it is. Um, but the macaroni and cheese, I'd probably give a four. So if they just sold this macaroni and cheese in a bowl by itself, I would, I would just eat it. I would just buy that and eat it um, because the macaroni and cheese is really, really good. So yeah, three and a half for me out of five. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.